Great Deku here teaching you how to make a Pandora battery and updating your PSP to version 3.90M33-3. Things you will need. PSP battery. A knife or box cutter. Something with a sharp edge. A safety pin. And electrical tape. Things you need right now. A knife and PSP battery. Now what you're gonna do with the PSP battery and the knife is you're gonna see seams along the side of your PSP battery, the bottom, the other side top. You're going to get your knife and you're going to cut along the seams. Put this closer for you guys to see. You're going to cut along the seams until it starts opening. Once you see an opening, you're going to want to start on the new side. I've modded this PSP already. I'm just giving you guys an example of what to do. Keep cutting it until you see an opening. Go on to the next side. Go on to the next side. You're going to want to only cut right here. Don't even bother up right here. Cut right here. This will take time. Like I said, I already modded this. I'm just giving you an example. Just cut along the seams. And once you're done with that, you're going to open it. And it's going to look like this. Now, this is what your PSP battery the, should look like. Safety when you open it, you can see a red square outlined in red and it's zoomed in in the lower right hand corner. The pin you want to take out is circled in red and is across from the number four as you can see on the side. If you can look closely inside your PSP on the side of the pin circled you can see ICO04 and the one next to four the pin that's the one you want to take out. Use the electrical tape to cover the three above it because if you touch the safety pin with two other chips pins it will circuit break and your PSP is no longer good take the safety pin from the outside of the pin and go under it and push up until off the green part which is called the motherboard you can leave it that way or just take it completely off remove the tape and close the PSP battery Once you took out the pin inside the battery pack you just now made, you're going to put it inside your PSP and you should get a green light with a blank screen. If you get that, you're good. And after that, you can go to the link on the side of this video. It's to upgrade to version 3.90 M33.3. It is very specific on what you need to do. You need to have a memory stick for your PSP 256 at least that's the minimum of memory you should have to do this and a USB plug thanks for watching have any questions my aim screen name is on the side if I get good comments subscribes I'll come out with more tutorials on other things such as emulators ROMs and whatnot thanks for watching